Welcome back to Trading 360. We're watching Boeing because 2024 has been a rough year, right, for Boeing. Stocks have been hit it's down about 30%. It's been facing loads of issues, lots of investigations, the 737 MAX planes in particular. So joining me right now, Daron Merdinder is with us, CEO of Daroni Aerospace. Thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting I'm me. I'm glad you're here. I mean, aerospace is your world. I know you, you talk a lot about all electric, uh, vertical takeoffs and landings. In the world of aerospace, um, the aviation industry has been facing some backlash, right? Why is that, do you think, and will it change? Yeah, so a lot of things are happening there, but I can tell you that we are here to turn on the lights. I think there's a lot of new technologies uh, and uh, in aviation that needs to be introduced that's already here, that we are already uh, working with, sustainable, electric, uh, carbon fibers, and a lot of other, um, um, for other uses as well. So I think at this point, there's a need for a change. And we at Doroni are like the speedboats that are leading the way for the big cruiser like uh, uh, Airbus and Boeing. So, I mean, we've seen, first of all, when you talk about Airbus versus Boeing, um, it's a national security issue, right? So a lot of Americans would probably prefer that Boeing gets back on track. Can Boeing do that? I believe so. I, I do believe in the American uh, industry, and I think there's a, enough uh, a smart people that can do that. I just have to put themselves together, the act together, and it's really doing the right stuff, working together as a team. I think this is the biggest thing here. And, you know, this has been obviously a black eye and people are nervous when they're traveling. Um, you introduce many other ways of, of travel, right? You're talking about um, looking at electric, looking at sustainability. I mean, it costs money to transition. Um, but do you, do you anticipate that that will happen a lot over the next 10 years? Well, it's already happening here yeah, in Europe. Yeah, tell me more. Yeah. So the biggest uh, uh, EV tolls are for the air taxi. They've been flying in February here in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, this year. Um, the first one to be certified uh, probably Joby by 25 started to introduce the service and uh, this is what we do as well. Uh, we are for more for the personal use uh, which is an easier form of certification. Uh, look it's already happening the US is behind China and I think it's about time the US start taking the lead again with all the creative and smart people here and this is what Doroni was doing. And so does Doroni, um, are you the manufacturer? Are you the advisor? What's your role in this? Yeah, so to create such a vehicle, you have to have an innovative company like we have, which has different modalities, different technologies, if it's electric, it's in aerospace, and put them together. So we are developing it and we are going to produce it as well. Uh, we're in Florida, under Space Florida, that will help us uh, uh, expedite the production as well, mm -hmm. and we all the time looking for partner, for strategic right. partner to, right. to help us there. We'll be happy we, if Boeing and Airbus will join as well. Yeah, I mean, and you know, we talked about, um, we had a company on not that long ago that's transitioning trucks into electric vehicles, right? So how easily can you transfer these planes to be from what we've known the last 20 years into the future? Um, how easy does that happen? How quickly can that happen? How much does it cost to transfer a plane over to the new world? So, so a fuel, a jet, uh, um, like 737, there will be a problem, technical problem to do that. But if you see the Joby aircraft or the yeah. Archer ones, they're sort of an existing fuselage or something like that that already is in existence and they have electric motors there. Uh, to create, the, the, what we've done is we created a whole right. new design right from the start in order to merge with these technologies. And are they um, equally fast? Um, the, the propellers obviously are fast as a propeller aircraft, um, but uh, the jet is not there yet. It will take time to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, more in the inner city, uh, regional right. uh, aircraft, uh, that was what we do. Yeah, and I think Joby has been very popular too. Um, yeah. That has definitely been growing uh, when you think about um, you know, electric vehicle takeoff and landing units like that or aircraft. That's, um, it's been growing in popularity to your point. Duran Merdinger, CEO of Duroni Aerospace. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for and some positive words on Boeing there for you as well. Thank you.